Yo, 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 what is up you guys? So, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this part that you just heard, but first, I have a quick announcement. So, recently, Twitch, the, you know, the big popular gaming uh, streaming website, uh, just got bought and now they're expanding. So, uh, they've contacted me and a lot of other music YouTubers to kind of start streaming on Twitch, so, uh, you know, to kind of help get the music part going. So, on December 5th, I'm going to start streaming there, and uh, it'd be really cool if you guys start subbing to me now, so I'll have a link down below for that. And the idea is, and I mentioned this to the Twitch guys while we were on the phone, is that I want to have my own thing, because otherwise, like, I don't just want to be another streamer and whatever. I like to have my own thing. So I mentioned that I would like to use Splice and kind of create a, like an online collaboration in real time, so it's more interactive than just watching someone make something and then answering questions in the chats at the same time. So what I'll be doing is actually working with you guys online, streaming live, so basically through Splice, we can, you know, I'll, ha I'll start a project folder, and then just make it open so that way all of you guys can just start working on it, and then saving your versions of it, and then, you know, in the stream, I'll just, we'll be working together. So it's gonna be like an online collaboration in real time between you between me, you, and a lot of other people. So, uh, you know, when I mentioned that idea to the church people, they really liked it. So, uh, on December 5th, I'll start streaming. But first, I need to set up my schedule. So, I want to know what hour of the week and what day you guys have most available. So, some it's like some day in the week where you don't have work or whatever else. And you just have a bunch of, like an hour in your week that you could stream with me. Or, you know, come join my stream. So, uh, you know, again, comment down below. Um, so, I'm in Pacific time. So, that's California. So, uh, it's really helpful for me if you tell me, like, in Pacific time, what hour you go on. So, find out what hour you're, you have available. And then, uh, you know, find out what hour that would be in Pacific time. So, for me, I was thinking, like, Sunday, uh, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, but again, I'll change that if, you know, a lot of you guys are telling me, you know, that's unavailable for you guys or, you know, whatever. So again, like if you're in Europe and you, or in India or in South America and you're you, like 7 PM on a Sunday is good for you. Uh, and you tell me 7 PM Sunday for me, that would be like a completely different hour and, you know, so just find out what it is in Pacific time. So anyways, let's get to the video. Basically, now, in this part, it's very simple. It's just two uh, little layers. So, the top layer is basically like a noise attack sort of layer. So, it sounds very much like this. And it, there's a lot of noise in that sense. So, you know, it kind of it seems like it's that distorted thing, but it's just noise. And then here is kind of what I consider to be like the body, the fatness of of this layering right here. So it's kind of like a hollowed plug sort of thing. So when you put this kind of hollowed plug and this kind of noisy thing together, and you know, just from, you know, doing lots of layering over the years that you just kind of figure out the things that work with each other or the things that you need to add when you're layering. So. Uh, it's very simple here. So both of these patches are from my Silent Bank. So you can get that on my Facebook page if you want to save some time. I'm not going to show you guys the patches because, like I said, it's available on my Facebook page. It's free. So, you know, if you have any uh, problems, you know, using a Facebook, then let me know. But I get a lot of messages like that all the time. So it's just what I tend to ignore when people start asking for patches and things like that. I always just say go to the download section. If it's there, cool. If it's not, I'll add it. So anyways, uh, this is not number 130. So all I'm doing here is it's mostly all silent. So like the limiter, the compressor, if you want to jaunt those settings down, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine because you'll probably need to apply compression differently according to what you're doing and what else is going on in the track. And so basically, as far as you're concerned, that's all that's going on here. So like even the MIDI roll scales, 
Uh, I've shown you guys this a bunch of times in other videos for the last few months. Um, all I'm doing here is I have the time length to around 234 milliseconds and the gate is all the way down. And it's not really that noticeable, it's just more of a continuity sort of thing with the MIDI so that each MIDI note is exactly the same length. Again, I'm using this as a attack transient noise kind of layer so I want to be sure that I'm controlling the MIDI. So by controlling the MIDI with the note length, uh, silent acts differently. So. Uh, that's all that's going on here, and then on the second patch, it's all the same uh, stuff. So the same uh, compressor settings, the same limiter, uh, a little bit of EQ just to cut out the lows. So you can see I'm cutting stuff around 150, just because I really don't need anything lower than that, and I really want to clean up the low end. And then I have the MIDI roll scales again, and you can see the length and the gate here. So again, I just map these two from the note length in Ableton. So that's a MIDI effect. You go here and that's what it is. And so you can see the length and the gate are both mapped and these are the settings for that. So I really recommend you guys make yourself a little MIDI scales like uh, a rack like this. So it's really just helpful. So I threw in a scale device, I threw in a note length, a pitch, and I've mapped some of that and it's just super useful. I use it all the time. I think I have a video about it where I explain all the uses of it and so I'll link that down below if I can remember what it is. And then let's get into the final silence. So this is again another patch from my bank. So it's called Riser 1. So it's really funny because it's a riser patch but because it has a really interesting attack and a really interesting kind of tone and it's sort of a pluck quality to it. When I When I bring on the the note length, it, is, it acts like a lead. So if I take off the note length and I hold down a long note, it's a riser. Now if I add the note length, now it's just like a, a synth. So thanks guys for watching and of course, lates.